I went back, I saw some quotes in the Pioneer Press uh, dated Thursday, uh, May 26.05, uh, quoting Mr. Wilf as saying, asked if he would consider moving the Vikings uh, if he didn't get a new stadium. Wilf said, quote, that will never happen. Uh, further in the same article, Wilf said he wants an open-air stadium that might, quote, unquote, not necessarily need state funding to build it. Uh, he also said even if a new stadium isn't built, he would not consider moving the Vikings out of Minnesota, emphatically stating that'll never happen. So um, just you know, for the record, because I think many, many people are concerned about this issue of the Vikings moving, um, we have the owner um, saying emphatically, and there's other quotes from other dates and other newspapers, we won't get into that now, but um, where he's been consistent on this, the Vikings will not move. Is that still the case? Um, Mr. Uh, Mr. Bagley. Mr. Chair, Representative Hornstein, thank you for the question. And uh, I, I think our owner uh, <laughs> believes that strongly. I, I, my, my personal opinion, if you're asking that, I, you know, he can speak for himself on that, is, as I don't believe that he'll move the team. I think the question is, if we if we can't resolve this issue or won't or uh, or leave it at status quo, um, the question is, um, would would he sell the team? And and then and then what happens from there? I think that's that's probably a, the, an appropriate question. Uh, but but clearly having the a stadium that no longer can compete for in terms of fan amenities or in terms of revenues, uh, we're at bottom of the NFL. Uh, and uh, it, it's, it's, it, we, we are getting a significant subsidy from other NFL cities and other NFL teams to keep a team in this market because of the stadium. Uh, that subsidy is under pressure and in jeopardy. Um, so if, if, that, if that subsidy is gone, uh, the question is why would you own a team in this market if you, if you can't compete? Mr. Chair, well, thank you, Mr. Bagley, because it sounds like you are uh, reiterating that there's no change in Mr. Wilf's position, and you're reiterating that that Mr. Wilf would not move the team. If I, no I, team. Mr. 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 Chair, Representative Hornstein, I, I believe I believe that's the case, and um, again, I think he can he can uh, he can speak to that. Um, um, thank you. Thank you, Representative Winkler. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, I'd like to, I guess, focus in more on this question of. Uh, what it uh, could mean for the Wilfs to sell the team uh, and have somebody else move it. Um, I guess first just a couple of baseline questions. It's my understanding that uh, the Minnesota is the about the 14th largest market in the NFL right now. Is that correct? Representative, uh, Mr. Lake, Mr. Lake, Lester, Mr. Mr. Baker. Chair, Mr. Chair, Representative. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm clear. That's right. Um, I believe that's correct. And Representative Winkler. Mr. Bagley, uh, there are 32 teams in the NFL, which means that <coughs> the NFL currently has 18 teams that are in markets that are smaller than the Twin Cities. Mr. Bagley. Mr. Chair, Representative Winkler, that's correct. And Representative Winkler. Mr. Bagley, is there any other stadium or city uh, that the Vikings could move to right now or conceivably uh, at the end of the 20 game uh, schedule at the Metrodome? Mr. Bag, Mr. Chair, Representative Winkler, um, you know I, I'm, we're not really uh, looking at looking at that. I think uh, we're committed to getting the job done here. We think we are. We're appreciative of Representative Solberg and Senator Bach and the other legislators from both sides of the aisle that are that are working on trying to resolve this. So we're we're committed to resolving it here. Um, you know the the other point um, about the market, the size market, since 1992, uh, 28 NFL cities have uh, resolved their stadium issue. Since 1992, there have been 28 new, uh, new facilities. It's, the Jets and the Giants actually share a facility which opens next year. Uh, so it's really 27 cities, but 28 teams. So since, since 1992, 28 uh, uh, NFL cities have resolved their issues. There's only two or three left, and, uh, and we are one of them. Mr. Chair, Representative Mr. Bagley, I guess what I'm trying to get to is more a question of timing. Uh, we've held this uh, date or this you know 20 game schedule the end of 2011 is held out as kind of a deadline if you will uh, and I believe that the statement from the Vikings has been that they will not renew the lease at the Metrodome uh, so the question is I I as a practical reality if that time comes and there is new no new stadium uh, under construction or uh, promised in law somewhere uh, I guess my question to you is, is there a practical, uh, financially uh, 
a winnable alternative for the Vikings to leave Minnesota at that time. Mr. Le Mr. Bagley. Mr. Chair, Representative Winkler, I, you know, the, um, I think our, what, what our owners have said is they, would, they, they will not renew the lease without a stadium deal. And, uh, and there's, 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 we have 20 games, we have this session, uh, we hope we can get it done this session, but uh, we've got more time if we need it, but we need to get it done. We think the window of opportunity in terms of timing is this year. And uh, um, I talked about construction costs being down 9%, uh, interest rates being at a 20-year low, the job creation opportunity. Um, all, all those uh, the things are changing. And, if, uh, and as the economy stabilizes, and hopefully heads, heads, heads back up, uh, those costs are only going up. So um, again, we believe the, the window is, is here, um, and, but we're confident we can get it done. Representative Winkler. Well, Mr. Chair, Mr. Bagley, I guess the reason I asked the question is because much of the advocacy around this uh, stadium issue this year is uh, along the lines of save the Vikings, keep the Vikings in Minnesota, build them a stadium now so that they won't leave. Uh, and my, um, uh, I guess your testimony hasn't uh, changed my hypothesis or my assumption that there really isn't an alternative for the Vikings to leave. <coughs> Uh, to any place for them to go to uh, or a funding uh, package that makes sense for them to leave in the event that we don't resolve this this session. Uh, as you well know, as everyone here knows, we've got significant challenges. We're dealing with the worst economic situation we've had uh, since the 1930s. And the question of whether or not the Minnesota Vikings football team's uh, status uh, and ranking in revenue in the NFL and the amenities of a stadium are what our priorities should be right now. Uh, and, I, and so it's important, I think, to understand a basic fact, and that is <coughs> whether this stadium bill saves the Vikings or whether it provides a new stadium. Uh, and from your testimony today, I don't hear that it saves them. I hear it's a good opportunity, in your view, to do something now. Mr. Bagley. Well, I'm not, I'm not sure there's a question there, but uh, Mr. Chair, uh, Representative Winkler, um, you know, they're, they're, we understand that you have priorities, and there's no question. We've tried to be respectful, and uh, you know, we 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 would have preferred to have a stadium bill on the table and discussed and debated and and, and worked through the through through the process. But we've tried to be respectful of other issues, and we know you've got a lot on your plate. Very respectful of that, um, but you know, we 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 believe you can you can uh, do do that, provide the essential services, and. Uh, work on this issue. Um, there, there were a lot. The state faced a lot of challenges in 2006 when, when, uh, when the Gopher uh, football stadium and the Twins ballpark were approved. Um, again, we believe there's there, we're respectful of priorities, but we believe that that uh, that th this this deserves a focus. As I said earlier, we have uh, tried, um, but we have not been able to bring this discussion forward. Uh, since 2006, we're now down to uh, 20 games, and uh, and we believe it needs 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 attention, and that we're greatly appreciative of your time, and the opportunity to have this discussion. Mr. Chair, one final question, Representative Winkler. Uh, uh, Mr. Bagley, the freight, this, I think the statement has been that the Vikings won't renew the lease at the Metrodome, uh, but that do, but that doesn't mean that they can't continue to play at the Metrodome following the uh, precedent set by the Minnesota Twins. They didn't renew their lease, but they continued to play until they found a solution. Uh, is, is, it, is it not true that the Vikings could continue to play at the Metrodome even if they don't renew their lease pursuant to their statement? Mr. Bagley. Uh, Mr. Chair, Representative Winkler, um, you know, the, this is the third ownership group that has tried to address this issue. Um, this issue, again, this is not a new issue. This is not a new discussion. So the discussion has been going on for near 10 years with three different ownership groups, and eventually we have to, uh, you know, grapple with it and resolve it. And I think that the, 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 the challenges and the pressures that are, that are growing on the Vikings from other NFL owners uh, is, is significant. The pressure that's coming on the revenue sharing issue uh, you know, we, 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 need to, we need to resolve the issue. Um, we'll leave it up to, to uh, uh, state leaders to, to help us with the timing. Um, we believe, I think we made the case that, that, uh, that, that we believe it's urgent. Again, we've been trying to have this conversation. We're respectful 
of your priorities, but we're hopeful that we can move the discussion forward and uh, we appreciate your comments and questions. Well, Mr. Chair, I'd just like to get it on record that that wasn't a direct answer to a direct question. 